Hey guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel and look what we've got here just before I start a video. Look at him. I told you we had kangaroos in the street. Careful guys. Idiots speed up and down here sometimes and they go hard. But yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. You could look at them all day. Isn't that nice? Bit of green land down there. Oh God, getting old. Oh, the missus just called. Anyways, let's get back to this, which is what I'm here for. Not, oh, Roy, I hope you like that. Our wildlife man, who's one of my subscribers. Bob's just set us up. Oh, he's bad, bad man lately. Look at this. I thought I did this before, and if I did, I'm doing it again. I don't think I have. I googled in my videos Green Beacon. I googled Hazy IPO. I clicked all videos. And this didn't come up. And I saw it. And I went, what a nice can. And then I saw Green Beacon. And I went, oh. It's a love hate. Hazy IPA. Green Beacon, as stated. Ten years of beers. Oh, they've been around for ten years. 375 mil can. This comes in at 6.5. A four pack of this cost me. I got it on special at Liquorland for 16 bucks. For four cans at 6.5 for 16 bucks. Well, yeah. In Australia, send it. On the back, uh, no spiel. A tiny spiel. Towers everywhere. Um, this modern IPA is a hazy and smooth with zesty tropical aromas and hop flavours of fresh pineapple, passion fruit and lime. Just go back and read this real quick again. This modern IPA is hazy and smooth, but there's no like comma or anything. It, anyways, oh, it's not a race, it just enjoy the beer people would say shut up and enjoy the beer aren't the kangaroos beautiful the wallabies they, they get up and down here and you know two three years ago they'd be bouncing up and down the street everywhere and i remember oh anyway get back to the beer but yeah we have a lot of wildlife around here and it's just beautiful to see that's why i was just sometimes on this channel i do shit on people who Go fucking speeding down the street doing, yeah, you know, 90, 150. And the kids were, yeah. You know, kids are different animals. You know, animals just jump out. It's their land. It's their land. Yeah, you know, we build them out and they've got to go somewhere. Well, just be careful. Anyways, I tell the team, beautiful looking beer. I'm sure I've had this, but I just couldn't find it on my upload list. Anyways, I'm not a detective actually worked in my life this is a very nice looking beer very orange very deep nice head doesn't hang around long but it's about one finger and it looks just beautiful god kangaroos beers what makes you people happy what else can i do <laughs> i get orange i get rock malone Very, very deep, fruity flavours. A very nice smelling beer. This is Green Beacon, sort of mainstream. Got this from Liquorland, like I said, on Spesh. I don't know if they're going to hang it. But these are the beers you expect. They've done so many fruity ones, though. Passion fruits and fucking... Oh, anyway, let's go. Oh, it's got good mouthfeel. Mmm. A nice beer. I'm not going to get like mouth gasmic about it, like where I go, oh, it's just a nice beer. It's a very nice, I'd say if you see this, definitely pick it up. Hazy IPA. I was talking to someone the night on the, had a quick yarn on the phone, and I said, How's your memory? And he went, Oh, I can't fucking remember. The phone. I was, 
That's what I'm saying. You have all these beers, and sometimes you just don't can't remember if you had them or not. If you've done a couple of hundred videos over the you know, year or two years, whatever, yeah, you forget. So if I revisit one, I go, fuck it. I'm here for the yarn, too. The beer's good. Green Beacon Hazy IPA. I'll keep this shortish tonight. Because you've been spoiled with wild... Mate, I should charge $10 a ticket to come look at the kangaroos. <laughs> kangaroos, beer and a yarn. I don't think I make much money. <laughs> mm. But I'll give you an example. Um, like housing around here where I am. I listened to a bit of the talk back a bit on 2GF. Yeah, you know, Lawsy and Brett Boltiches and you know, a few others. And, yeah, they're pretty good. I used to listen to AM radio back in the day. I look 20 and I'm like, listening to like, you know, when I say old people stuff, imagine, yeah, I know, like people are just on the go when they're young. We've got to remember that. We've got to remember that as we do go into our years, that these people are in their prime like we were. We banged around going, on the go all the time or nothing hurt us. And, you know, you, you, you do got to close your eyes and think back and I reckon you can always admit to yourself you are a royal pain in the ass at one time. <laughs> Oh, fucking lot. Anyways, if you see Green Beacon Brewing Hazy IPA, I strongly suggest to buy it and send it. It is nice. I don't know why I'm saying send it. 6.5 as well. This is a very heavy, fruity, delicious beer. If this was on tap, I would definitely, definitely have it. The colour, the appearance, the texture... Everything about this mofo is just no kadunkadunks, but um, just sensational. A seventy. Yeah, you hit one of those poor fucking things. Like you hit one of those kangas. You know, you hit them and you you're out. Everyone, well not everyone, but a lot of people hit wildlife and I could, can put a dent in the car. I remember in, I was in a Land Cruiser in 2007 and I was driving 80 in the 100 zone out on the Mitchell Highway or the Mount near Burke. I was out. No, on the road to Brewarrina. Mitchell's the one to Sydney. The Bree, we got the Bree Road. Wollamarine, no, Bree, Bree Road, I say Bree Road, I was, I was in between Burke and Bree, and I'm driving along, and I mate, like I said, 80, I've got spotlights on these fucker things that would burn you if you stood in front of them, you'd melt, in a bull bar that you could have done an ATM with five minutes, <laughs> like, big, And out of nowhere, this black shadow, and I'm talking out of nowhere, man. Peripheral vision on point to the left. It just come out, and it went like that. Like, all I saw was this, literally with the fingers. And you go, and it hit and fucking hit the front wheel. The car, the, the, the troopy lifted. I'm not lying, bro. It went up. It feels like metres, but it was probably only like inches. I'm not Craig Lowndes. And then it come down, but then it hit the back right. I thought, that's got to be something. And it was an animal, and I went, and I always took my care. And uh, it, all of a sudden I heard a boof, and the car just pulled the left. And I'm talking, luckily I was doing 80, not 100, 100 plus. Think about it. And I'm pretty cool behind the wheel, as in, like, the way I look and dress and drive. <laughs> Anyway, fuck this. Anyway, the car, the, the truck pulled, pulled off the road and I called a truck. Yeah, Truby. And I, the back tyre was blown out. The rear rim, rim was dented and it was a pig. The, it was a wild pig and a big boar and it got up and ran off. I wouldn't laugh about it. Got up and ran off like nothing happened to it. So, and those troopies, they're, they're tough. The 
they say if like you buy one, you know, it's one for life type thing. And I get that. And like I said, I think to my son the other day, we had a yarn about Rolexes, and you can leave now. I'm just having a quick yarn. Look at the lacing on that glass, too. Three step, four step lacing. One, two, three. Look at that. Anyways, I'll leave the video. I'm just, I'm just saying a bit of reminiscing and a bit of. Yeah, I'm in Sydney this weekend as well. I think, yeah, Sydney. No, I am Sydney this weekend. So I'm going to do a few beer reviews down there. Annoy the missus. Um, Roy, our wife. I might. Uh, I've got a big few days. But uh, I want to hit a couple of brews. And have a few beers and maybe a few short bits. We'll be out west one night for the blink. What a fun beer. Yeah, fun beer. He's like packed up. Very, I, I'm really impressed by Green. It's a banger. I'll leave it at that. Love each other. Take care. Just be kind of that. And I'll see you at the next one. The, 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 this just gets better as you fucking drink it. If I said to Trev, I'd say, Trev, neighbor, yeah, what are you doing? I say, I've got a four pack of Hazy for 16 bucks. I'd be like, bring it over. <laughs> Catch you at the next one.